Okay, I'm back. Um, I found the problem. Um, or I knew the problem before. So we have to change the um, the script order. So we go on edit and project settings and now to script execution order and we have to attach uh, the our scripts to it we want to uh, yeah we want that the item database is uh, scripted before the inventory and then the inventory and then the slot script so apply that and now we can see that we get three items in our item, item database it's perfect now that's exactly that order we want so um now uh we also could check our debug log so that we say um here debug um items items zero dot item name and this could uh, should give us the name of the first item which we which we've added you see a underscore armor zero four so it's perfect that is our uh, that now we have added our uh, first item to our slot uh, or to our inventory system but we do not see the item so we have to change something in our slot script uh, it's pretty easy uh, and in our inventory script as well so um, we need a slot number for every slot which we um, so for every slot script so we have to uh, to add another oops add another Oh no, we don't need that anymore. Uh, we have to add the slot number, um, public slot number, slot number, uh, integer slot number, slot number for our slot, so that this slot, uh, every slot script can um, get access to our inventory items list, so that we say every time when we have uh, so the slot knows which slot it is. So it can, let's say that is index index zero, and um, this slot gonna go in this item list and check uh, the index of zero. If there's an item, that will take the item and uh, show um, the item image in this um, which we have created here. So let's do that. Um, we're gonna do that like. Um, let's do. We're we gonna do that on the best way. Um, yeah, we are gonna take our. Uh, let's do that on this. We take our game object. We know that there's the uh, script is called slot script get component and slot script, and we are gonna change the slot number. Right. Like yeah, uh, equals to the slot amount which we have. So I gonna s say slot amount at this. We know exactly how many slots we have. So we are gonna create a, um, um, a variable. This is called firstly slot amount, and this is firstly zero. Every time when we add a new slot, we are gonna uh, yeah add one to it. So let's say slot amount is plus plus. So So this uh, the first item uh, the first slot will get uh, the slot amount zero. So every time when when the slot um, the item list is getting changed, the slot script knows exactly uh, if there's item in or not. So we're gonna uh, see that then, and we have to change something in this uh, item script every time. So let's do that. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, we go in our slot script again and check the inventory script. Firstly, we have to get the inventory script as, get as well, like inventory, inventory. And now we can take the access to the inventory and say inventory, inventory dot, uh, it's equals game object. Oops, it's written wrong, sorry. Game object dot find game object with tag now we need the tag because we have tagged that before here in the inventory here it's tagged and now we can get the access to the inventory um inventory it has to be inventory dot get component and now we want to access to the script inventory so uh when we do that uh we can see now 
we can watch into our items list here, which we've created. So uh, now we're gonna do inventory dot items. The index is our slot number. Slot number dot item name. If the item name not equals null, wait something more. Item slot. Ah, oh, wait. I want. Yeah, okay. So slot number. So and when uh, it's not null, we we'll want the item image uh, is get, getting enabled and the sprite is getting changed. So we have to, to change this as well. And uh, it's pretty easy. We want this and this, and that's it. And yeah. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I guess it, it should be everything, I guess. I hope I forgot nothing. Um, let's see that and start it. You see? It's perfectly, it's working now. Uh, we've got our item icons and now we can also see when we go on uh, on this. Uh, wait. I can't, see, I can't see at the moment the item, wait, but we can change it this every time when we got another item we want to ch uh, save this in this item so that this item is this item so we can check this um only to see that everything is getting stored in this uh, slot uh, again slot number zero is right here's one two three and so on and i don't know why we can't see again the item of it. I don't know. It's uh, at the moment, I guess, a pretty Unity bug. I don't do not know exactly why. I can't see that. Let's do that in another way. We do that as debug, and then we should see everything what we have got in it. Now we do not see again. I don't know what's happened here. Okay, I don't know. I have to uh, watch into it later. But uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, that is, uh, that's it. Uh, we can change now some uh, other things like uh, when we hover over our, um, yeah, hover our, uh, over our item, we want to see only items which have, um, oh, we only want to see the description of it when uh, there's an item in this. So let's do something like if inventory dot items the slot number from it so slot number dot item name is not equals null we want to see the debug log debug log wait and we want to see um the in the, in the um where, uh, let's say the name or no, only the description sorry i forgot it items and wait 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 slot number dot item description item description so we want to see the item description and yeah that is one of the biggest uh, important things for us later when we finish uh, our complete tutorial series we're gonna create here uh, are we gonna instantiate um, a window with the tool tip so that's only a placeholder I want to show that it's working so that you see that there are different names of the items so when we're on the in the console and now when I hover over it it's a nice armor and when I hover here it's a better armor which we've created in the item database before I see nice armor and better armor. It's perfectly. That's exactly what we want. So um, I hope you like my tutorial series, my first tutorial, to be honest. And I hope I wasn't so bad. Um, if you like my video, please uh, subscribe. And if you have some questions, just um, ask them below. And I hope I could have helped you with my tutorial. Bye bye, and see you at the next tutorial.